Hey guys, this is Abigail and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you a sugarcane farm uh, because my old sugarcane farm has been broken in the late uh, in Minecraft 1.11. So I wanted to improve my design, this design over here, so I could make it work in the latest version. And it's not much of a difference, you know. And most of you, we can just look at this and start building because you already know what to do uh, just like that uh, but for the people who don't know i have a proper tutorial for you and let's get straight into it to make these you need 64 blocks of your choice which is this for me uh one chest or double chest or how much chest you want uh, depending on uh, how many uh, thing, layers you want to make because this is stackable you can uh, like completely stack it up all, all around and you can connect it to only one chest and one microphone yeah okay so you need 64 blocks of your chest one chest one mine car chopper uh, six rails two power rails a water bucket eight pistons eight observers and eight redstone dust so you need all of these, okay? You need all of these. And of course, if you want to stack it up, then you need to just double the resources. And we'll understand how to build this when we start the tutorial. Okay, now let's begin. So basically, first you need to uh, get some uh, blocks of your choice, not this. And then fill. Uh, this area is a ground block, okay? This is your floor, okay? This will be where the farm is. And this is the underground area where your storage area will be, where you will be collecting all your sugar cane. So first of all, you need to keep the water. So to do that, you need, um, you need to keep uh, some grass blocks over here, okay? Some grass blocks over here. And then you need some uh, blocks for your choice. And then put them all around like this so that the water doesn't overflow because now we're gonna put some water and we don't want the water to overflow. Okay, perfect. Now, okay, let me just fill it up because we don't need that. Okay, now we can get the water and we can start filling. So once the whole thing is full, you're ready to go. And uh, now you can just put the sugar cane. And now it's a working farm, it will produce sugar cane for you. But it's not automized, yeah? So let's automize it first. Let's get some blocks over here. Uh, I'm just using elastic glass. You can just use it, use any block. Uh, this is just to, uh, this is just to, uh, to prevent any loss of items. Because, yeah, so that any items are not lost. Oh, why do I have this stupid auto jump on? There you go. Much better. Okay, I hate all the jam. Okay, now because we, we need to break these, we'll put pistons over here, not sticky pistons. So you don't need to find some slime chunks and um, make some sticky pistons, which is much more harder because sticky pistons are much harder to get. But if you have a slime farm, then that doesn't that design doesn't work. So that doesn't matter, even if you have a slime farm. Okay, so what you need to do basically is now you need to place your observers and you must do it facing the other side. Okay, so you need to face it like this. And I need an efficient way of placing this. Perfect. Okay, so once your observers are placed like this, make sure that this thing over here, the face. I'm using a resource pack right now, but uh, if you're using the normal resource pack, there'll be an observer face over here. So the face should be facing over here, and once uh, this grows, uh, wait, we need to finish with the last part. So let's get uh, this block over here, and let's just put it all around. Okay, pretty good, and then all you need to do is get some restaurant dust. And it war up like this. So basically, when a sugar cane grows up to full length, okay, I'll just come up to you. Uh, this will detect a beauty uh, block update, a uh, block update, and it will power this redstone dust, which will power this block, which will thus power this piston. Really easy and simple. 
okay and what you're gonna do now do is build the collection chamber but before that we need to make it so that uh, none of the items are lost so you need to cover everything with uh, blocks if you want to really show this then just use some blocks and then just cover up with glass and if you don't want to show this then just cover it up with any block maybe an ugly block like dirt because the point is you just want to make it function first and then you want to make it pretty so I'm just putting the glass right now and yeah okay and I should have done this sugarcane farm tutorial much long before because I had like designed this uh, sugarcane farm uh, way back and I, I, I had to otherwise you know this was bad Sh should we put that? Okay, that actually looks much better. That actually looks kind of cool. I don't know, much uh, a lot of colors and stuff. Okay, uh, this uh, yeah, that looks cool. Okay, uh, let's get that and yeah, pretty much done. What I need to do is get some blocks over here and the whole way around. Get um get your rails over here. This is for the collection area. Uh, so that you can collect all the items. Uh, so place one power rail over here, one power rail over here. If you want to make this longer, then two power rail won't work, and you have to keep it uh, on every foot uh, 13th block or uh, 12th block, and uh, to make it efficient. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, I need to make this a power block, and I also need to. Okay. Now get a power. Uh, now get a power source and. Power all the things and then you can put over here, one over here. Okay, let's just replace this block because that looks ugly. Now get a minecart with hopper, not a minecart. <laughs> okay, now it will start moving. And once, as you see, once uh, the once the shortcake goes up, it will fall down. And the minecart with ho hopper will collect it and it will start. Oh, wait, we forgot one. We need a hopper over there. Let's get a hopper. And uh, yeah. And a chest because we do need that to store the items. And let's get that. Okay. Uh huh. And oh. Oh no! Okay, just won't go away. Mm, yeah, and there we go. Now we can get a minecart with hopper, and we can power it. And once you start powering, you'll see the sugar cane will start dropping into the thing. So if any sugar cane, let's see. Okay. Um. Uh, wait, I'll do that in the end. So now what we need to do basically is just hook up to hook up this to where you want to take it away. Oh, that's actually pretty much done. It's a really basic concept. It's just, just really easy and it's uh, really simple to make. So let's get the stained clay because it makes it look better. And let's see the magic over here. Where is the button? Oh, wait. Uh, I need to set up the random tick speed. Okay, wait. What is the command, guys? Do you know what is the command? Yeah. Okay, make sure you cover everything up so there's no loss. And just for extra security, just put some blocks away. I don't know where So because sometimes there could be some blocks just flying away and just landing everywhere. So just cover everything up, and this should be pretty much all done. Let's set our game rule: random tick speed. Two, one. Wait, how much is it? Yeah, oh no. Game rule. Random tick speed to 3000. Let's see. Okay, now the sugar cane should start growing. Okay, and the, the pistons will start firing. Okay, the sugar cane will drop and the minecart with hoppers will suck it through the block, drop it into the hopper, and that will lie in the chest. What? Oh wait! This uh, this thing is powering it. Oh, oh okay. 
Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't use that. Power that block over there. Power the back block. Uh, don't use. Or you could just take it in a lower ground. Uh, that is just my noobish mistake. Okay, that's not the fault with the thing. Okay, this farm works. It works. Okay, that's just my noobish mistake. I'm just a noob. Okay, don't 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 blame my farm. My farm is good. Don't blame my farm. Okay, what I want you to do is get your chest over here. And as you can see, all the sugar canes should start flowing into the chest. See, this is a perfect farm for your survival world if you want automated sugar cane. But guys, I think that is pretty much it for today's video. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. This is Sad King signing out. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.